was some people do from the beginning and they didn't need to so the, the starting point for this exhibition in a way for us was t was two books uh, on the, the one one of them was Miklos Harasti's book a worker in a worker's state which, and the other book is a book by uh, Bifo, Franco Berardi Bifo, an Italian philosopher. That was the starting point for the exhibition. How uh, philosophers and artists uh, thought about um, alternatives to socialism and different uh, versions of socialism in the early 70s and also looking to today how, how these ideas, uh, how a critique of socialism might be applied today and find, as in finding a uh, uh, a way out of the current situation, how to tackle the situation that we all find ourselves in of post fordist capitalism, the way people work and live today. And the title of the exhibition comes from the book that Ruben mentioned, which is uh, Working in a Worker State. And in the last chapter of the book, which was written by Miklos when he was for six months, had to spend time working in the Red, red, red Tractor Factory. So it's a, it's a socialist factory where they produce tractors in Budapest. And he descri described how these workers were working and what were the conditions, but in the end, he wrote this uh, paragraph where he was describing how they used the factory machines and they used the materials from the factory and they created something, did something for their own use. So something that they took home or something they want, they needed at home and needed to make. And uh, this was very risky so that they, they were evading the control and they had to make friendships so they wouldn't be caught doing something illegal in the factory. And Mikhail Sharasky describes it in very beautiful words. He says uh, that this is where the friendships were formed. This was the, ho this was the loophole to happiness. And the, the loophole to happiness uh, that uh, Harasti, Miklos Harasti was referring to was also very much about making these objects, which are also can be called Fushi or, or Homers. And um, that's, that, this character of uh, this uh, kind of character of making objects is, is uh, present in a lot of the artworks. For example, in, y in Yannick Simon's work, where he's he's, he's uh, taken. Uh, manuals like books for children for how to make toys and then he's used various uh, things that you can find around like bottle tops and so on to reconstruct to make those toys. Uh. And a lot of works uh, in the show have this aspect of handmade because in today's digital age artists often opt for something which is a print or a digital film or something where the artist doesn't do anything by his hands, just you know, working on the computer. And lots of works have some aspect which, which has this uh, creative side expressed as well. I see where you are. It's good, no? But the white wine is better. Yeah. Yes. Okay, the white wine is better. It's like very alcoholic. It's like... Spolu s restrukturalizací produkce a distribuce dochází zároveň k restrukturalizaci nervového systému. Je to jednoho člověka tou 40 milionů bytostí, neexistujících bytostí. Je to stejné jako psát román, kde 